everyone, I'm Carol. Welcome back to my channel. Um, forgive the bangs. I'm not leaving the house today, so I can't be bothered to make them look pretty. Um, today, we're going to be putting together my sister's present. So her birthday is going to be the Tortured Poets Department themed because it's going to... Her birthday is on the 13th. And the Tortured Poets Department is out on the 19th. So it's going to be Tortured Poets Department themed. And, well... My gifts are also going to be Tortured Poets Apartment themed because why the fuck not? So first of all, I wrote her a poem and we're gonna make it pretty. I just realized I don't know how to make sage green. I'm gonna play around with colors a little bit. So I got these two that are kind of green. I'm gonna put this yellow and this dark blue. I really love writing handwritten letters. I think that it shows that you put some attention and detail to something that you're giving to someone you love. Oh, the candle's out. Shit. I... Last time I used this, I don't remember what I mixed it with, but I'm thinking I should get a toothpick or something mix the colors together. I have this old hairpin in my room. I'm gonna use that. It ended up looking a bit more like matcha green than sage green. It's a little tree. Okay. I think it's soft enough. Oh, oh. It looks pretty. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty. Okay, this next color looks so pretty. I'm going to show you once it's on the letter. I have envelopes. Um, so, this is what I do I grab it and then. I fold it up to about here. It has to be more than half. Like more than more than a third. Okay, so with less than a third here left, here we're going to fold it. Okay, this is how they did it back when, you know? back when Jane Austen was a thing. So, like this. And then you put this here, the wax, and then they open the wax and they open the letter. So again, you see, look at the proportions. Do you see this? So it's, you have to leave just a little bit, but enough that it looks a bit like an envelope. Okay. So we're going in. I'm trying to get it in the middle. And then the wax is going to start to dry a little bit. So you just give up. Make sure it's right. And slowly distribute. Slowly. Okay, I don't think I'm using enough wax. 
I think I I think I I have to put on more wax. You see, because it's oh my god, it looks like a Hogwarts letter. Oh my god. I'm a Ravenclaw, please. I'm a Ravenclaw. And then you open it up. Like they would use a letter opener, which I don't have. Um and then yeah i'm so excited for the album i think it's gonna be something between evermore and red the breakup and self-doubting part of red maybe speak now i don't know yet but i'm really excited okay this time i think i used a little bit too much Show you. you see it's oh well it happens I think no it's not liquid enough yeah. so I've been reading White Nights by Dostoevsky and let me tell you this dude is as delusional as me i'm identifying so much with the main character i mean if he does something bad then forget i ever said that i'm only on page 20 but this man is delusional he's absolutely delusional and i get him i get him i mean he saw this woman crying and he was like i love you Okay, I feel like Elizabeth Bennett right now. Alright, now for the rest of the gifts. I'm gonna show you. Just one second. Okay, let's go. Um, so first of all, it's Tortured Poets. Oh shit. So I thought I'd buy her a poem book by her favorite poet, which is Emily Dickinson. She really loves Emily Dickinson. And I thought this cover was really pretty so present number one well number two um present number three uh i don't know if you've seen the kit kat store video but i got this um tortured poets apartment logo lasered onto this box she really loves boxes to put her stuff in so and it, i thought it was cute so present number three present number four is a member of the Tortured Poets Department t-shirt. I have one as well. I bought one for her and one for me so that we can wear it on the 19th while we listen to Taylor's new album. I got this little basket, which I think is always cute for decorating her room, and I'm going to fill it up with friendship bracelets that I'm going to make for her probably today or tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow. Uh, also, these do not really fit the vibe, but she was eyeing them the other day. It's a um, playing cards. We really love to play uh, card games together, so... I bought these for her. These are like on the go. I don't know if I can, yeah, I can't open them without. Basically, they're this size. So, really practical for like, I don't know, airplanes and taking them inside your purse and stuff. So, this is another gift. Also, I bought her some random knickknacks. I'm going to show you. She has curly hair, as well as me, and she also, um, whoop, she always wants to steal these from me, so I got her one. I want everything to be like black or gray or white, so I got this black one. Um, I also got these, which are like, I mean, they're almost like, they're kind of beige, 
you know they're beige and they have black on them so it fits the aesthetic don't you dare tell me it doesn't because you're wrong okay so these um i also got her the scrunchie which is gray so also in the same I got her. Why am I always dropping this? I got her this makeup palette. It's supposed to be contour, a highlighter, and blush. But I got her this one because one of the names of the shades is Reputation. And we think that's the next album, so. Reputation. Um, I'm not going to show you because I, I want her to be the first one to use it, but I am just going to. Shades are pretty and I think they're going to match her skin tone very well. So I was thinking of like putting all of these inside a box, but the box I have is really ugly. Like my mom ordered something and it came in here. My dog, he opens my door. I think it's hilarious. So I think I'm going to paint this because I, I'm not going to give it to her inside this. I just, I think I have to peel this off first because otherwise it won't paint on top of it. I hope it doesn't run on the box. paint but it's maroon I'm just gonna use it anyways it's very high coverage I miss painting as adults we should have more like kindergartner activities available for us you know like painting places and um taking naps no but seriously it's very therapeutic to find something that you like to do it and i don't mean something like oh i'm i really love math so i'm gonna study no that's not what i mean i mean something to let your artistic side out to let your inner child out. I think there's something very beautiful and healing about that. Is she gonna throw it away after? Yes, but I want it to be pretty when I give it to her. very pigmented. I was thinking I was going to have to do like two or three coats.
here. Taking a break, letting it um, dry up before I hit the bottom part. And, uh, and I was eating and then it arrived. Okay, so this is the Ravio. I'm gonna show you. So this is Shunetto Chrome in brown. It's a vinyl player, but it also has FM, USB. It records. It has aux and Bluetooth. So it's very complete. It's by Radio. I've always wanted to buy this one for my sister. Um, because it's very cute, it has this vintage look about it, it's multifunctional, and you can store it away at any time, because it's literally a, like a carry-on bag. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for. I just think I picked up play now. Party's over, bitches. Go home.